where the animal sanctuary was being built. <clears throat> and this was, it was a family friend who was already there, who is now my partner. So he was already doing some work there, you know, making it sustainable. He was living off the grid. And I told him about my plan for the animal sanctuary. So naturally they merged together. Now, initially, it was really, it was really hard. So I'd left my business, which was a physical business, to go off to Portugal. And I'd left it fully run by a team. And I was in the middle of nowhere. I was... I was two and a half mile, uh, two and a half hours walk. I didn't have transport. I chose not to have transport from any sort of civilization. No power, no running water. We bathed and, you know, what um, drank from the river, from a nearby river. And we, we slept in a ditch covered by a polytunnel. Um, Later in the summer, we just slept in the open air, which was lovely. But this was winter, you know, there's no <laughs> nothing nice and romantic about this. This was winter and it was freezing. Um, and it was mud. Like we, we had a bed in the ditch and a polytunnel. And if we ever dropped anything, like it, if I was getting dressed, I'd get dressed on the bed. And if I dropped something on the floor, it was, that's it, it was gone. You know, it was covered in mud. It was a really crazy time and trying to run a business as well. But what, what it did give me was tranquility and the peace to be able to really focus on what I wanted to do and what my purpose was and who the hell I was. Because amidst all of this, I'd lost 